Mohanta's pre-chopper. Let us learn how to use this instrument in cataract surgery through these three video clips. This is the first one. After hydrodissection and nuclear rotation, the anterior chamber is filled up with visco. Now, the pre-chopper is taken in the right hand and the sustainer in the left hand. Uh, pre-chopper in the dominant hand and sustainer in the non-dominant hand. The sustainer goes first, then the pre-chopper. It engages in the soft part of the nucleus just in front of the main wound, just adjacent to the anterior capsular rim. The sustainer hooks the opposite equator. The two instruments come to each other and lateral separation is done. The nucleus is rotated and on hemineucleus is subdivided into two pieces and the two instruments are taken out. Now the anterior chamber is filled up with visco again and the phaco needle goes in and the superficial cortical lens matter is removed. The pieces are separated from each other and the pieces are picked off and emulsified. This instrument is very useful in soft cataracts. In hard cataracts, it can be done with practice. This is the hemineucleus. It can be easily chopped by the ball tipped sustainer into pieces. So, this is the first video clip. I nowadays I try to remove some cortex by the handpiece itself, and most of the time I can do that. And now, the second video clip hydrodissection is done, the nucleus is stabbed. The nucleus is rotated, the antechamber is filled up with visco that is 2 percent SPMC and now the pre-chopper and the sustainer is taken. The pre-chopper engages in the soft part of the nucleus just in front of the main wound. The sustainer hooks the opposite equator. The, the two instruments are brought to each other and lateral separation is done. So, we get three pieces, two hemineuclei and then one hemineucleus is divided into two pieces. We can divide the other hemineucleus also, but that is not necessary in most of the time. But in this case, I am dividing the other hemineucleus also after injecting visco. So, we have got four pieces. And now, the pieces are picked up, some superficial cortical lens matter is removed, the, the pieces are free from each other and they are easily taken out of the capsular bag and emulsified. The most beautiful thing is we divide the nucleus in the capsular bag. We do not prolapse the nucleus in the anterior chamber. So, there is least chance of endothelial cell loss. This is the third video clip. pre-chopper and sustainer. The sustainer goes in first, then the pre-chopper. The pre-chopper engages in the soft part. The sustainer hooks the opposite equator 180 degree away. The two instruments come to each other and lateral separation is done. Then on hemineucleus is subdivided into two pieces. visco again and then the phaco needle goes in
this piece is picked up and emulsified. The pieces are brought at the central part of the anterior chamber and emulsified. This is the other nuclear piece. Or if a piece is large, we can easily subdivide it, subdivide the large piece into smaller pieces by the sustainer. The length of the sustainer, sustainer is 1.7 and the length of the P chopper is 1.8 millimeter. Now let us see one video clip in 50 percent speed, half of the real speed. The sustainer goes in first, then the pre chopper. The pre chopper engages just in front of the anterior capsular rim, in front of the main wound. The sustainer then hooks the opposite equator. The two instruments come to each other and lateral separation is done. Now, the nucleus is rotated and on hemonucleus is chopped like this. So, please learn how to use pre-chopper. You will, your soft cataract management will be very easy. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to use Mohandas pre-chopper.